Oh, hi. Good evening, everyone. Uh, can I just say well done if you've managed to um, join 7.30 on a Saturday night. Well done. Uh, Zoe, as you're running out, can you close that door for me, please? The kitchen door. Just to show it is live, obviously. Um, so I was having a little think about um, what to uh, pray about uh, for this session. I have to say, I just, I just felt a little bit overwhelmed and like my mind just literally felt blank about, about it. Anyway, my children persuaded me to take them to Crosby Beach this afternoon, which was fantastic, actually. We had a great time. Um, and I just suddenly, this idea, and I, you know, I think it was, obviously it was Holy Spirit just helping me. I just said to the children, I said, if I just pray, can we just all walk in silence for one minute and just see if God... Um, speaks to you about what I can pray about for this evening. So we did that and then um, Zoe straight away said, I think, Mum, you should really pray about children's mental health, um, which obviously I would include the youth, children, youth um, in that. And just I just thought fantastic. And Luca has also added to that because I've just asked him again now when we were at home and he was saying, yeah, um, he was particularly thinking about children's um, depression. So that within that whole thing of mental health. So I just felt, wow, Lord, thank you. Try to persuade Zoe to lead it with me. But um, but what she has done is basically prepare this prayer time and written most of it out. And I've added a few little bits. So, um, so we're going to pray for that. But before I do that, I thought I'm just going to read out Psalm 121. Um, and I just thought I just want to focus on God first and for us to just acknowledge him, his presence before we begin to pray. So I'll just read it out and just let this scripture just minister to you. I look up to the mountains. Does my help come from there? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not let you stumble. The one who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel never slumbers or sleeps. The Lord himself watches over you. The Lord stands beside you as your protective shade. The sun will not harm you by day, nor the moon at night. The Lord keeps you from all harm and watches over your life. The Lord keeps watch over you as you come and go, both now and forever. And Father, I just want to, just for us now, to look to you. We come to you with this huge... Um, prayer topic where it can almost feel a little bit Lord like where do we begin but Father we come to you you um, are in control we give all of these prayers now this time to you for you to activate Father we trust in you in your mighty name Lord Amen also just want to say happy 4th of July to all our American friends, particularly DG and Mike. Um, yeah, um, so this is what Zoe's written and um, and then we, we can pray out of it. She's put, pray for the mental health of young people and children. Many have been in, di in a different, unstructured and academically challenging environment for so many months. They will continue to not have structure or excitement as we enter the summer holidays, so no soft play centres, holidays, large group activities, summer camps, it's all gone. And um, it's just really challenging when I, I read that. I think, yeah, the impact is absolutely huge. So we're going to start by actually praying 
specifically for um, the children's mental health. And she's put this scripture, 1 Peter 5, 7. Give all your worries and cares to God, for he cares about you. And Father, now we want to thank you that you care for every single child in Frontline. No matter what their age, um, you care for each one of them, Father. And Lord, we do think beyond that as well. There may be children who are on our minds. They may be neighbours. They may be children within the family, wider family. Um, or there may be children within church that are really on your heart to pray for. So, Lord, we want to give each of those children to you. We just thank you, God, that we can bring our cares and worries to you. And, um, Lord, I just want to pray specifically um, about the whole issue of depression for children um, and for youth. Father, this is a huge area, but, Lord, we want to pray right now. I want to ask, Lord, now for your protection over our children in our frontline family and for all those that are on our heart around us as well. Father, I ask right now for the power of your blood to surround each of our children, each of our young ones, our young adults. Lord, I ask right now for your mighty warrior angels to come and surround each of them, Lord. Father, I pray, God, that you will, in your mercy, come and protect each one of their minds. Father, the battleground of the mind. Lord, I want to thank you that you've said that you've not given us a spirit of fear and timidity, but of power, love and self-discipline. And Lord, we know our own weaknesses in that. And um, Father, as adults, we know that. So we want to pray that protection, Lord, that, Lord, we declare it that you have not given our children and our youth a spirit of fear or timidity, but of power, love and self-discipline. And Father, I particularly want to ask for your protection um, of screens and availability of information and things to watch and listen to. Father, I pray, God, for the right influences to be nurturing our children during this really difficult lockdown time. Lord, we want to pray against long term health and anxiety taking root and against emotional insecurity due to distant friends and loved ones and not seeing those um, other people around them. So, Father, we ask now, Father, I want to ask right now for all of our all of our children, all ages, Lord, that um, you I ask that you will protect them. In your name, Lord Jesus, we want to say no to long term health and anxiety issues taking root in each of our children. Lord, we just want to ask, Lord, now that you will help us, Father, Holy Spirit, will you help us to be alert to our children, either within our own personal families a wider family, or Lord, our neighbours, or put in a child on our heart in church to pray and cover, or a particular family to pray for protection, for protection and peace over each of these children. We just want to really come to you and ask for that Lord Jesus. And then Zoe's put about praying for parents. And she's written, um, can we please pray for children's parents that they will have patience and wisdom with their child or children, that they will find something, a project or a hobby to try and entertain their child? Well, I want to hold my hands up. I need all the patience and wisdom possible as I have a 13 and 15 year old and I know there'll be many of you right now saying, Amen, I need that, Father God. So why don't we just hold up our hands and you may be doing that to represent other people. But let's just hold up our hands, no matter what age our child is. 
Father God, we want to ask you, Holy Spirit, will you fill us with fresh patience and wisdom for a fresh love for our child, for our children, for each of them individually, things that are irritating us, the relentlessness of lockdown and the impact. Father, I just want to ask God for fresh love and fresh patience and fresh wisdom for each of our children and to be vigilant over each of our children in prayer. Lord, and we do ask, we do ask Holy Spirit for your creativity, for projects, for hobbies, for capacity to take our children out and um, to the beach in the fresh air. Father, will you um, give us that Holy Spirit creativity and wisdom um, with our children? Boy, do we need it. We really do need it. And the third thing that Zoe's written is for us to pray for our leaders to make wise and timely decisions about the education of children in particular who are unmotivated and losing the will to work who have parents that don't value education, who haven't got resources or space to learn, and who don't feel safe in their own homes. Um, I'd like to think that that isn't families, children in our church, you know, that I, I'm hoping with all of my heart that, you know, they are in nurturing environments but I, I just know there are many children who are not in that situation so let's pray for them father we just want to give children who are in exactly the situation that that we've just said father god i pray now Lord, will you alert a neighbour, a teacher, another family friend, a family member or a friend? God, will you supernaturally provide for each of these children? And I believe many of them will have cried out to you and prayed to you. And God, I just want to ask now, will you supernaturally move in each of their lives, God? And we want to pray for the leaders, Lord. I want to pray for Boris Johnson and the cabinet. I want to ask, Lord, for your wisdom for them, Father, to make the key strategic decisions. Um, yes, protecting our health, but actually really being vigilant nationally for children's mental health in this country. Um, so just really ask for that in your mighty name, Lord Jesus. And I just want to finish. Oh, sorry, there's another area I'd like us just to pray for. I just felt like for children, um, and I know a couple of them, some are in frontline, um, some in other churches, but children who have health, ongoing health conditions, which has made them extremely vulnerable to COVID. So just really want to pray for those children because it's had a massive impact on the family as well and having to remain indoors the bulk of the time. And I just feel like God just wants to say to each of you children that are in that situation and your parents and family, well done. You have done an amazing job. And I believe actually God wants to say that to all the children and youth in our church, well done. And those around us, maybe we can make a point of actually saying that and thanking our children and our youth for for transitioning, for being in, in this situation um, like nothing ever before. So I just want to finish with reading um, Mark chapter 10, verse 13 to 16. And it's the passage where it says Jesus blesses the children. One day, some parents brought their children to Jesus so he could touch and bless them. But the disciples scolded the parents for bothering him. 
when Jesus saw what was happening, he was angry with his disciples. And he said to them, let the children come to me. Don't stop them, for the kingdom of God belongs to those who are like these children. I tell you the truth. Anyone who doesn't receive the kingdom of God like a child will never enter it. And then he took the children in his arms and placed his hands on their heads and blessed them. So right now, I just picture Jesus taking every child, every young adult in his arms, placing his hand upon their heads and blessing them in the name of Jesus, blessing them with good mental health, with peace and a sound mind in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you so much for praying with me tonight. Take care. Thanks. And as usual, I need a bit of technical help. the screen mum it's a laptop <laughs>